Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and the most popular Linux distro is out with its October release. Ubuntu 20.10 codenamed Groovy Gorilla was released on 22nd October and it's one of the non-LTS releases of Ubuntu that is supported only for 9 months. This particular release is supported till July 21 and therefore it's not really made for long term use but it gives all the latest version of softwares and you can always upgrade to the latest LTS version as and when it is released. Ubuntu is one of the pioneer Linux distro and is one of the best entry level distro for a new Linux user. Therefore, on this channel, I try to cover almost all new releases and all new developments coming to Ubuntu. So following the trend, let's take a quick look at this new Ubuntu release and check out some of the major changes introduced in Ubuntu 20.10. Alright, to download the installation image, head over to Ubuntu downloads page. The first link is still for Ubuntu 20.4 LTS cause that's their main release supported for 5 years. Scroll down to get to Ubuntu 20.10 download link. The installation image size is around 2.7 gigs, which is nearly the same as the size of Ubuntu 20.4. Now Ubuntu supports only 64-bit systems. The installation is done by Ubuntu's Ubiquiti installer and it's the same standard Ubuntu installation. There's no change in the installation process. The entire installation process takes around 15 to 20 minutes depending upon the options you selected during install and the type of hard disk you have. Alright now this is the desktop of Ubuntu 20.10. Now the new wallpaper with this Groovy Gorilla mascot looks really cool and if you do not like the color of the background there are a few color variation of this wallpaper that people have posted on Ubuntu discourse page. You can check them out as well link is in the description. Now the first big upgrade with Ubuntu 20.10 is with the desktop which has been updated to the latest GNOME version that is 3.38. So all the new features of GNOME 3.38 now makes its way to Ubuntu. Now let's check out some of the visual changes in the desktop. First is the new dedicated restart option to the power off menu that lets you quickly restart the system. Then in the date and time menu, the event of the day now appears below the calendar, saving you one extra click to see the event. Next, there are a few changes in the show applications menu. First, the frequent apps screen is gone. Now you have only one screen that shows you all the installed applications and also the icons layout has been tweaked a little. The space between the icons has also been reduced and the entire icon grid is moved towards the center with bigger margin at the top and the bottom. The apps folder also have a tighter 3x3 three three grid and the background is more darker now giving more emphasis to the foreground apps. Now apart from these changes the desktop is pretty much the same in terms of appearance. Ubuntu 20.10 gets a new set of wallpapers and these are all the new wallpapers. Alright now coming to the next big change which is in the new Linux kernel. Now Ubuntu 20.10 now uses the latest Linux kernel which is 5.8. Now this in itself is a massive update over the previous version. There are a lot of improvements in the latest kernel. You get improved support for new AMD processors, Radeon graphic drivers, Thunderbolt ports and many more. You can check out all the new features of Linux kernel 5.8 by going to this page. The link is also in the description. Now also for those of you who have watched my video on IP tables, now with Linux kernel 5.8, IP tables has been replaced by NF tables as the default backend for firewalls. Now IP tables will still work as NF tables has backward compatibility and support for IP tables. But it's becoming a legacy software and now I'm planning to make a video on NF table pretty soon. So if you want to know all about NF tables, make sure you subscribe to XPS Tech channel. Alright, next is the softwares. Now the list of pre-installed softwares is pretty much the same, but they are updated to the latest table version. So you have Firefox at version 81, LibreOffice Suite at version 7.0. But as far as software is considered, you can never go wrong with Ubuntu. It has the most number of packages in its repo. If you want the latest version of software, you can always go with the testing repo, which contains bleeding edge softwares. And with the availability of Snap Store, you can get the latest version of Snap softwares as soon as they are released from upstream. Alright, next uh, is a big one. Now this is what is grabbing headlines all over. 
Ubuntu 20.10 now can be installed on a Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is a sort of a mini computer PCB which is popular as a DIY computer which allows you to build a fully functional computer at a very minimum cost. Ubuntu 20.10 is the first Ubuntu desktop to provide a Raspberry Pi image and it's a welcome news. Now you can get an Ubuntu desktop and all its technologies at a very low cost so it's more accessible to people. It can be a perfect choice in situation where you want to do single task like routing traffic or connecting multiple devices to printer via Wi-Fi or as a media center for displays. Alright, so that was a quick look at Ubuntu 20.10. If you're using an Ubuntu system, I recommend you upgrade to this new release. Visually, it may seem very similar to the previous release, but it has got some big changes under the hood. To upgrade to Ubuntu 20.10, open terminal and type these commands. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, do type that in in the comment box. A huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.